Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm going to show you how to do a whimsical wreath. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's brightly colored and cheerful. It's not meant to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. And I think a simple addition of a gold bow will make these wreaths look just lovely. So you start with an assortment of greens. You can see I have a yellow green. I had a very deep teal blue green that I added black to. I have a olive green, a leaf green, and I added gold and bronze as well, and a little bit of black when I layered the cups. So all of these paints are mixed with just Floetrol and a little bit of water. And then I layer them into three little shot glasses and I layer them light, dark, light, dark. Uh, and I did add a little bit of silicone in one color. This is TriArt Liquid Glass Cell Flow Medium, and it is really powerful silicone. It works wonderfully. As I say, I put two drops into one of the greens, and we're talking in a very small, paper cup I mixed these paints so I maybe had an ounce and a half of paint and two drops created all sorts of wonderful bubble magic. Now my base coat is a pearl paint and I added a bit of gold to give it some warmth so it's a really pretty pale pearly gold which makes the green even pop more. And as always, torch for bubbles. As you can see, it is a bit of a flip and drag with the three little shot glasses, and you're trying to get a somewhat circular pattern. This one is uh, not too bad considering, uh, but we're gonna play with it now. And this is where I use my smearing in technique. So I'm using my palette knife to draw some of that gold cream, creamy pearl into the wreath to give it uh, some texture and some shaping.
I think this is really quite unusual. I see all sorts of little birds and baubles and a partridge in a pear tree and golden pears. And uh, I find it really pleasing. It makes me smile. There's something about greens, vibrant greens, that uh, just, it's so alive. So I liked it so much, I decided I'm going to do another one, a smaller one, since I had leftover greens. So this is that beautiful gold pearl. And I flooded a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I've got one little flip cup. And I'm going to make that work. Now I did spill a little flip cup. So I'm scooping up a little bit of the green that uh, from the, the table and applying it. So this is going to be really quite a whimsical one. Uh, that little bit of silicone in the paint really creates some beautiful patterning. And from here, it's just playing with your palette knife, smearing in, bringing that pearly gold color into the green, gives the illusion of leaves and foliage. Uh, this one really is whimsical. The shape certainly didn't turn out perfectly, but I love it. And as you see, I'm just pulling some of that soft gold into the green, and it just gives a little bit of definition to the wreath. I have to encourage you to play. Um, this was all play and it was absolutely fun and delightful watching these different colors of greens, gold and bronze blend together and work together. The swirls were just to fill up the fact that it wasn't completely circular and it looks really quite whimsical. Uh, so if you're looking for a very simple painting to add to your holiday decor, uh, yeah, give this a try. It's really quite simple and very pleasing. And for me, this is a seasonal wreath. Uh, it represents the change in the seasons to holly and evergreen, and it's festive to represent everybody's particular 
holiday season. So this is my wish to you to have a safe and healthy holiday season. Uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. I think it's really important. Uh, make things that make you smile, that make you happy. And uh, the rest will come easy. Anyway, if you try it, tag me so I can see your version of my wreath. Thank you so very much. Everybody take care. Bye.